Hey there, it's Bill here with JK Southwest. Thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate everybody watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click that like and subscribe button down below. Uh, it really helps out the channel a ton. So we just got on the dirt. We're on a real easy local trail today. Done a few things to the Jeep. We just wanted to get out and see how they were working. Feels like I got a ton of parts in the garage still to put on. Uh, next up is a drag link flip kit and an uh, upgraded tie rod. If you're interested in those, uh, let me know down in the comments below and maybe I'll throw together a video of uh, me throwing those on. Uh, we're going to find a spot right up here to get aired down. Again, it's not a hard trail, but it just makes it so much more comfortable when you air down, doesn't it? So I'll check back in with you in a minute. So joining me out on the trail today is my buddy Brian and if his Jeep looks familiar it's because you've seen it in a bunch of videos with me before. We've wheeled all over southern Nevada, we've been to Sand Hollow in Utah, we went to Moab. And I know you guys have seen his Jeep because I've had a lot of folks ask, uh, ask for some more details about it. Brian's actually selling his Jeep here pretty quick. We've got another trip to Sedona planned and just after that he's going to put his Jeep up for sale. Probably look at getting a, something newer. Maybe he's going to get one of those diesel JLs. Maybe one of the JT pickups. We'll see what he ends up getting. But his Jeep's for sale so if you have any questions about it shoot me a comment down below and I'll get you some more information. Uh, I think it's a 2000 TJ, it's got the straight six, the five speed, that's what everybody's looking for, right? Things super clean. He's got like a four inch lift, 35 inch tires, locker up front, so it's set up pretty good right now, but uh, even better, man, if you've got a project planned or you want a project. Like I said, the body's super clean, the inside's clean. You can throw a stretch kit on it, throw a long arm kit, go to town with that thing.
All right, so we just finished checking out the cabin up there. It's pretty cool. I uh, can't imagine hauling all the supplies up there to build that thing though. While it's not very challenging for the Jeep, it is a pretty long uphill climb and it's all loose rock on the way up there. So hauling all those supplies up there had to be a chore. I don't know much about the cabin. Uh, they must have done some mining up there. There were a couple tailing piles, some other equipment around. But it was pretty cool to check out. So we're heading back down the mountain now. When we get to the junction, we're going to hang a right, drop down into Good Springs. Maybe we'll visit the Pioneer Saloon, get a drink while we're there. If you haven't been to the Pioneer Saloon, you should, get, you should go check it out. Uh, we visited it a while back. We did a video. We'll put a link up here. You can go check that out. It's uh, the oldest saloon in southern Nevada here anyway. If not the whole state. There's probably something in Genoa up north that uh, is a little bit older. But for sure down here in the Las Vegas Alley, Las Vegas Valley area, it's, it's the oldest.